and Carlos will be here. I know he's, he's, he was, we both looked at our screens after we got off that meeting and it was like, ah, talking about what you were just talking about, Chris. Right. It was, you know, message after message after message, you know? So, um, yeah. I think, see, I think there I, he is. Carlos is in with us. Carlos Martinez. Congratulations, Mr. 25 K. Yes. Did you Amy see Carlos? What's up guys? Congratulations, Mr. 25K. Thank you, guys. Thank you. You guys are next. All of you guys are next. You too. Well, Sorry. So I invited one more person, guys. I invited Amy. And the reason I invited Amy is Amy is showing the effort on our team. She's doing everything she possibly can. And she's struggling a little bit with getting clients and stuff. And I just wanted to show her the guidance that we're getting. So she's going to kind of sit back and just watch, okay? Um, so I'll go ahead and start off. Jana, have you, did you come up with any questions for, for these three young men that are on here? Um, I kind of, I just want to, guys, we need guidance. And the teams are starting to get big. Things are starting to happen. And I don't know what I'm doing, guys. I, I don't. And, and I need you guys to guide me. I know it's happening, but I don't. I just, I don't. Uh, Jana, did you have something? Um, yeah, I guess, um, kind of following in, I think it was one of the trainings that, um, maybe it was our team meeting last time that talking about getting people that we didn't know and sending out the messages and you were talking about quality people, um, which is completely understandable. So me coming into this, I, I kind of know how to reach out to my network and stuff like that. But as far as I can get other people that I don't know and, but the quality people. So I think you were saying kind of going on some of the motivational groups and it kind of guided me to where you would look for your quality, you know, people who would be good networkers. Okay. And, and do you care who answers? Yeah. No, all, all three, all three of you can answer. We don't care. Isn't there like a game show like this or something? Yeah. <laughs> the squares. It was the squ it's squares. a free for all. It's crazy. In oh, here. It's squares. So, um, so here's the one thing I know that Walter and I and Jana all have a question. You, all three of you, Corey, Carlos, and Ron, I've heard all three of you say that for one month to three months, you blew it up with messages or whatever it was you were doing. And you guys all got 80 to 100 people. We're trying to figure that out. Okay. And then I have one more, and then you guys can kind of know what, um, I guess, the general theme of, like, the help me, help me was. Um, everybody seems to have, like, their own Facebook page set up. And as our team is growing and getting bigger, it's like, how should we manage the team? Like, Team Hope right now, correct me if I'm wrong, but we're just communicating through Messenger. So it seems like almost like, hey, maybe it's time somebody should take the reins and do like a, should we do like our own Facebook page for Team Hope or should we just keep it under the Deering Dream Team or, or uh, so suggestions on that because the team is growing so rapidly and we're right now we're only communicating with Messenger unless we plug everybody into a live Zoom. So that was one of my big questions is, from a training perspective, what's the best way to get everybody on the same page? And then as far as my second part to that question was on in regards to the Zoom. So should we sign up for like a premium Zoom or, or what do you recommend? Because I, I really like the Zoom platform. What, I do, what I'm struggling with is the quality of the lives. Like when I'm doing uh, lives with customers, it's like um, it, it just comes over really grainy and it doesn't seem really professional. And I see Ron has come a long way with some technology and I'm like, Hey, teach me a wonderful, how to, how do I get the quality that you get and share it on Facebook? And, uh, and so that was kind of a two part question. Where do we go from here? Cause right now we're just on messenger and it's growing really rapidly. And I feel like we should take it to a, a more professional level than just messenger with our team and uh, just kind of any feedback from you guys as leaders. Cause we want to take a, take control of this and we want to be professional at the same point. Um, so just kind of any nuggets for, for that type of uh, mentality. That's what I was thinking is, is how to step it up a little bit as far as from a, from a team perspective. Should we just. Oh, three questions. Okay. Yeah, three. Let's start I, with one. I got it. I got, I got off. I'm going to, I'm going to go through and I'm going to answer 
all three of them and then you guys can answer all three of them however you want to do it. But I'm going to, I'm going to give you my two cents worth. Okay. So ladies first, Jana. Um, I, I started out uh, initially a few years back when I was, you know, getting started in uh, attraction marketing and everything going out to, I, I made the mistake of going to, moms that work from home and network marketing, you know, page groups and work from home groups and advertise here groups and all of that. And, yeah. um, you know, I never got any, anybody wanting to date me, but I did get, <laughs> cause I keep, I keep hearing this from people. Oh yeah. I went to those sites and now I've got, you know, Russian women that want me to you know, be their husbands. I was going to say that was my problem. I'm married and now I got all kinds of women wanting to date. Me. I don't know what happened there. I was just looking for affiliates. <laughs> well, maybe now that I shaved, I don't know. I'm married, but I, I don't get anybody asking. But anyways, I, I got, I got all kinds of people that weren't, quality, right? That we're just out there either spamming their stuff around or, you know, uh, we're stalkers of, you know, Bitcoin and all these other things. So um, I remember talking to Ray Higdon and saying, you know, we're, we're, you know, in fact, I actually talked to his wife, Jessica, and she said, you need to go, you need to go to higher quality groups and especially groups that restrict people from putting comments, from putting posts in, not comments, right. but posts. So I started going to Eric Worre's site, Network Marketing Pro, Tony Robbins, Jim Rohn, uh, Robert Kiyosaki, and places like that. And all of a sudden, the whole quality of people that were now friend requesting me was a lot higher. These were serious people and entrepreneurs. I didn't, I didn't put links out. I didn't do anything like that. I would be scrolling. I'd scroll through their feed, and somebody, Eric Worre was a great example because somebody would say, Hey, I just or was at the Go, GoPro event and, and uh, Robert Hollis was an amazing speaker there, you know. So I put a comment saying something like, oh, yeah, I know Robert Hollis is great. What were, the, what were your takeaways? Here are mine or something if I, if I was there. Or what, what did you, what, you know, kind of takeaways did you get from that, from that meeting? Just something that when I saw a comment that, you know, grabbed my interest. And I, and I, and I then would click on that person and kind of go look at their profile. So I knew, you know, kind of who they were. All of a sudden, it started friend requests coming in from, from these people. Because I didn't friend request them. I waited until they friend requested me. And then again, I'd look at their profile. And I'd say, you know, for instance, you know, and, I, and guys, I'm not picking on Jana, so don't, you know. <laughs> but I know you I know you dive, right? I know you dive. I know you you do those kind of things. So I would have made a comment like that. Hey, I see that you scuba dive. I'm a diver too, da, 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 da. You know, what's your favorite place to dive? And, you know, start communicating with them in, in that arena. And then all of a sudden, they're going to start looking at your profile. And if you've, if you've kept your profile clean with the things and you're congruent in what you're doing and what you're saying and what you're, you know, um, pro promoting on your post, they're going to say, hey, wow, you know, I see you do CBD oil. I heard that's really hot right now. What's going on with that? And, and boom, you got it, you know. Or they may come up and they say, wow, you know, yeah, I'm a diver too, but I've had to stop because I, I got so many aches and pains, I can't pick up the tank anymore, you know? So now I'm, I'm using the little 10 minute air tanks, you know? <laughs> you know, hey, here's a great, here's something you might want to try. Here's my link, why don't you try this sample? You know, it's a seven day supply of this. So you start developing that. and you, But you know that, you know, they haven't come out to you and said, Hey, how are you doing? I'm in Russia. You know, can we can we get together? You know, because those people don't typically go those to those places because they right. Need right. Does that does that kind of help you? Yes. Yes. Okay. Christopher, your question was, you know, we we all kind of talk about, you know, how we went crazy in the beginning months and just you know message 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 and so forth. Um, I can tell you what I did uh, when I first got in that first big month, June, my first full month in the business. Um, I just started, I already had developed what I just talked to Jenna about was I already had 5,000 friends, right? Right. So because I had that many friends and a couple of thousand followers, now I had a database, if you will, like an email list that I could go out and message. If you don't have that, then you need to go back to the first question and start developing those people in it. But because I had that, 
I was able to go out and message these people a script. And I would just, and I literally, and, I, and I've taught people in the past, don't ever do this, you know, because you want to make it personal. But guess what? You know, time is money. My time, I, I knew that I wanted to do this fast. So I was in a sorting mode. I wanted to say as little as I could to as many as I could. And the right. best way to do that is a little snippet of copy and paste, changing out their name. And, and I was teaching this one day on a Saturday. And somebody said, because this, the snippet says, hey, prospect, da -da 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 -da, would you be open to looking? And they, and they commented and messaged me and said, well, don't they get upset when you call them a prospect? <laughs> You need to change the name, you know. So from from Hey Prospect to Hey Chris, Hey Walter, whatever, right? Mm -hmm. So I just I started off at twenty five a day because I needed to test out Facebook to see if they were gonna slow me down, if they were gonna throttle me, if they were gonna cut me off, if they were gonna stop me, and, and I wanted to check that out. So I got a pattern going. So I do twenty five in the morning, twenty five in the afternoon. I got up to seventy five or a hundred of those a day. And I didn't care. If your name came up on my list, and here and here's the key to what I did too that really helped. Originally, I went to my friends list. I went up to the top and I hit friends, and I started going through that list. And I roll my mouse over till it came up, and it gave me the option of their profile to message. And I hit message, and I'd type a, man, a message to them. I'd paste this message into them. Then all of a sudden one day I looked over and I realized that this whole list of chat people on the other side with a little green dot on it made, meant that they were online right then. Yes. yes. So I started clicking on those. I, changed, I never went back to my friends list at all. I just started clicking on the ones with green and I started getting responses right away because it was in their face, right? Mm -hmm. Now, out of the people that I messaged 100 a day, you have to understand that probably most likely for Corey and, and Carlos and myself, our audience is an audience over time that I've developed of entrepreneurs and network marketing and people that want to own a home business, right? If, you're, if your audience is not, then coming to them with a, are you open to look at the business, probably is not going to work as well. But because mine was, I could come at them and keep hitting them with it. And I had probably, I don't know, 80% of them that uh, came back and, and most of them answered back. There were a few that never, I never saw, but probably 80% of them came back and said, Hey, Ron, man, thanks a lot for thinking of me. Um, that's awesome. I'm really in the middle of a blitz right now myself, but I'll keep this in mind for the future. Great, gracious, very kind answer. Then I got about a dozen people that came back to me and said, what are you, an idiot? You're spamming me. Stop doing this. Don't you know anything about marketing? Three of those people are in my business. I'm doing very well. Okay. Why? Because you can make a decision when those people come at you like that to either look at their profile, look at who they are, if you know them, and decide whether it's worth your time to, to consider yeah. them. Or... If it's worth your time, then you, I sat back and I said, hey, let me ask you a question. Is your time worth money? Well, absolutely. I said, so I don't want to waste your time with rapport. We're already friends on Facebook. And I'm telling, and I, and I was up front with them. I said, if you came to me and started asking me, you know, how's my family, how the dogs, how this and everything else, the first thing I want to do is cut you off and say, hey, we're on Facebook. If you want to know any of that stuff, look at my profile. What is yeah. it that you really want to show me? Oh, man, I'm so glad you said that. I am so <laughs> excited that I don't have to do this rapport thing anymore. You know, <laughs> what do you got to show me what you got? I'm, I'm willing to look at, it, you know, and they signed up Two of them came as a director and one came as an executive. Right? So you need to know who your audience is. You can't, you can't be sending out a message for an opportunity to an audience of people that are health and wellness, you know, nice. yes. Yeah. or they're, um, uh, I don't know, maybe they're, they're dog lovers and things like that. You, you need to look at your niche. You need to see what, what your audience wants, what value they need and, and so forth. And it may be you come at them through the customer arena. Maybe you come at them through the samples. Maybe you come at them through the gift, which is what I do everything now. I give everybody a gift now. I don't do anything but give them a gift because I'm over that. I've built enough people. Now, when you talk about Chris, about 80 people or so, um, you 
don't quantify the number of people that you need, you know, because if you look at the teams that are out there right now, there's a lot of examples. I love Linda Bamba to death. She's a great lady, but I guarantee if I looked at her recruiting number, she's somewhere probably close to 200. Okay. And that goes back to what we were talking about earlier, Jana, where, you know, it's, it's, it's quality, not quantity. Right. Right. You, you need to bring on the people that want to build the business and then you need to work with them. Yeah. So totally I brought on 74 people personally and probably less than 10 of those are customers and, and the rest came on as, as builders. Carlos, I don't know what your numbers are. Yours, I think, are less than mine. Yeah, I, I, uh, I, after I checked, let me see. I think I want to say, boom, 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 let's see, Enroller, Enroller Tree. I, I want to say, Ron, probably maybe about 60 or so, 60, 65. 60 people. And he's yeah. a 25K affiliate. Corey, wow. you, I know with your marketing, you probably have personally sponsored more. But. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I think I'm somewhere around 100. I don't know the exact number. Yeah. Now, and, and my goal is I want before the end of 2019, I'm gonna I will personally sponsor 300 people because I I know that I'm gonna need I want that I want that Bill Britt graphic that we've talked about so much, to, you know, to be into play. But it's it's not because I believe that because if you again you look at the leaderboards, there's a family on there, the Wait family, that hit in the hundreds every single every single month. They're recruiting in the hundreds. But if you look her up on the rank recognition, she is she has never gone past 25k affiliate. Now, how do you recruit 500, 600 people, and only be a 25k affiliate? Okay, it's two things. One is it's because if you're recruiting a lot of customers, customers don't purchase every month, right. and they only buy like one bottle, right? So you're getting you're out if you're out there and your audience is all about customers, that's okay, because that's money up front and everything else, but it's not gonna build you a legacy, it's not gonna build you an empire, because- That's what, exactly what's happening to me right now. And, and it happens to a lot of people, Walter. And so you, you need to change that, and to change that, going back to what we talked about in the beginning, is you need to start changing, you know, it's the, the old change saying. your audience. Well, it, it, if you can't change your friends, change your friends. <laughs> you guys heard that before yeah if you can't change your friends change your friends so if you if if your your friends are customers and you can't change them into affiliates then you need to change your friends into people that want to become affiliates how do you do that you start going hanging out with people that are entrepreneurs and people that want to build a business and want to be and carlos and i went through this it was probably like july july or august I think it was July. We start looking at, you know, we got we got that syndrome at the, at the leaderboard syndrome. We start looking at, you know, uh, Barb Miller and all these people, and we start going out to their sites and their and their pro Facebook profiles, and you know, it was all about customers and, and doing doing videos with the, the products and all this stuff. Didn't take us long to figure out. Wait a minute, there's a there's a clue here. Why is it taking all of those people so so long to rank advance when they're bringing in so many people? Because you're you're targeting low profit people, audience, right? Because they only buy onesies and twosies and they don't feel like they need to purchase every month. Okay. So if you can't change your people, change your people. You've got to start building an audience up of people that want to build a business. And the good news about that, whereas in customers you need a lot, builders you don't. Builders you don't. And the reason I asked Carlos to mention how many he had and, and Corey to talk about and how many that I have is because Carlos in, in his first month in the business in 17 days made 10K affiliate and only, only brought on 14 people. 14 people. Wow. Okay. Who was this? Carlos. Carlos. <laughs> okay, that's right. Sorry. So he, Somebody just messaged me. Sorry. So in 14 days, you hit 10K or 17? Is there anybody in the room with you right now? That can kind of smack you in the forehead. Or sorry, my phone went off and I'm sorry. In 17, 17, uh, in 17 so I, I sponsored Chris 14 people. Uh, and in 17 days, I hit uh, the 10K affiliate rank. And, so and you right, got all executives? Office. I'm sorry, Chris? Did you get all executives? Uh, a good majority of them, yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, they they were not. Well, no, no, no. I take that back. No, there was just like uh, four or five execs. The rest of them were like directors or builders, yeah. you know. But I, I work with those those four or five that came on, and then they were the ones that started coming on and bringing on other people. So, so the key is work with those, right? You work with them. You you, you build deep, you know, and um, and and, and really, because if I look at it, it was really just two people, two people, maybe three, that helped me get to 10k. Yeah. You know, and Ryan, I just looked at my numbers in the back. Actually, I've sponsored um, uh, 49 people, uh, both affiliates and customers so far. 49. Okay. So, you, thank you, Carlos. Uh, I mean, th that's my whole point is you need to, you, and just like Walter said, is that if you concentrate on, on customers, you're going to be, you're going to be in, you're going to have a job, in my opinion. If you're bringing on customers, and I think customers are great, but if you're bringing on customers, you're going to have a job because if you stop bringing on customers, your income stops, your growth stops, you won't, you won't requalify. But if you bring on business builders, if you bring on people, and it, it only takes a handful, okay, and, and you learn, okay, because you're only going to bring on people that are at the a level or, that you grow to. So your personal growth has to continue to grow. Because if you want this person down here, I had to grow to a level to bring on a Carlos, right? I had to grow. I had to be at a certain level to bring on, you know, a, a Troy Barrett or a Tony Walker or a, a Lily Romero and so forth. And so you you need to be working on your personal growth at, all the time, every day. Get better, and better. Work on your skill sets. Work on those things that are going to take you to that next level of, you know, uh, leadership and 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 business builder. Yeah. So, the key to your audience is making sure that you are hanging out with those people that want to build a business. All right. You're going to get customers, but you know, the customers are going to come one way or the other. And then you need, but the other thing you need to do is you need to learn how to turn a customer into a, a paid affiliate. Yeah. yeah. Because I, out of one, one month I did, I did uh, nine customers and Aaron had me on one of the calls and talking about how, you know, cause he was on the call. He said, I'm going to tell you how I got four customers this month. And he messaged me and said, Hey, would you join? How many customers you got? You got two or three customers this month? I said, no, I got nine. He goes, oh, get on, a, get on, a, you know, get on the call. And, you know. right. and so, but in the reality, what it was is I had nine, I got nine customers of which five of them I turned into paid affiliates. Right. So, that's really was my my goal and my desire so chris you come on as a customer i'm going to make sure that i take the time to explain to you all the benefits of being a customer right especially that refer three get free get yours free right refer a friend program mm -hmm. and i'm going to let you know that if you refer three customers and they buy from that link you're going to get your product for free but here's the kicker those customers are going to be mine and i'm going to get paid the big commissions and every single, every single time they ask, well, how do I get to big commissions? Right. Now I play around with them a little bit and say, well, you've got to pay this big affiliate fee. And then you, you know, you're going to, well, okay, well, how much is it? 20 bucks a month? No, just 20 bucks a year. No, just 20 bucks. Well, why wouldn't I do that? Exactly. <laughs> And then they say, "Oh, I'll, I'll just take this marker. It says twenty bucks, and boom, there." So, so it's it's not just that you if you get a customer, it's a bad thing. Take that customer through the path and see if it makes sense. If they're excited about getting their product for free, they may be excited about getting their product for free and making some money. So what you're saying is, is I have like forty nine people. I don't know. It, I can't remember how many, but I have probably fifteen of them to twenty who are, or maybe more, that are signed up as affiliates. What I need to be doing is not only working with them, but also focusing on my customers and trying to get them to upgrade to affiliates. So they're right there in front of me. They're I right just need to approach them. You just need to touch them once in a while. Right. You know, you okay. just need to touch them once in a while and talk to them and ask them, hey, is there anything, that any questions you have? By the way, I don't know if I told you about this, but do you know about the Refer a Friend program? Okay. That's where I would start. Come All back right. and... and you know, even approach them, approach your customers back with that in mind. Hey, are you familiar with the referral friend program? Mm -hmm. And then, and then take them to that. But you want to entice them, entice them into that, you know, but I'm going to get the big commissions. Yeah. Right. Make, okay. make, make it fun with them. Okay. The more fun I have in life, the better I have. So. Carlos, <laughs> what do you yeah, got, Carlos? Guys, you know what? Uh, this thing hit me like a ton of bricks. 
last this past Saturday. And I, I was not initially, I was not sold on the sample pack. I'm gonna be honest. I didn't make any postings on the sample pack. I'm like, eh, you know, I, I was, I, yeah, see, and, and I was like the, the a, a lot of the people thinking like, you know what, you, you need skin in the game, you know, and, you know, free samples, you know, $12 shipping, that's not skin in the game. So I was not sold on it, all right? But then this, this is what hit me like a ton of bricks, man, and it, hopefully it hits you. Yeah, we all know it's cheap to get in, right? It's cheap to get in. It's, you know, free samples, 12 bucks. And then if you want to become a customer, you know, you, you, you pay 20 bucks. That's 32 bucks. But I'm like, again, I'm thinking skin in the game. But here's where it hit me, guys. Hopefully it hits you. If we do that, guess what we teach our team to do? We make it simple for them. They're going to want to join. They're like, wow. I mean, I can give away free samples. And who can't give away free samples for $12 shipping? Right. And then you lead with that. But here comes the power, man. Here comes the power. So then all of a sudden now they're on board. Right. And the moment they buy that, 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 that or they, they get that free sample for 12 bucks. Now they're going to get a string of, I think it's six. Last I count, I think it was either 16 or 17 emails over the course of 30 days, specifically written by Josh. Okay. And the slew of them in the first seven days on why the importance of CBD and why they should upgrade. I got one customer on a sample pack. Ryan and I just finished. Okay, Ryan and I just finished a, a Zoom call with him. Okay, he's a military. Chris, he's gonna have a powerful story. He has a powerful story just like you. He was suicide. He's a military veteran and uh, 12 years, PTSD and all these psychotropic drugs. He had. He said, guys, I had the revolver. I had my sidearm on the table. I was moments away from taking my life. Okay. Mm. He got tired. He got tired of, you know, just taking the, the, the pharmaceuticals and he told the shrink, you know, and he says, God, I'm not doing this anymore. I'm, I'm. So he was already sold on CBD. He was already taking some other CBD, but then he's been watching us. He's been watching Ron. He's been watching me. He's been watching, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, Robert, Robert Hollis. And he ended up joining me under my packet, you know, so we just got off the phone with him and he's got a powerful story to tell. So he, wa guess what? Tomorrow he's upgrading product to executive. He's upgrading to executive from a sample pack. Right, because he yeah. knows, and his his target audience is going are going to be veterans, veterans, and and that's a that's a huge untapped market, huge untapped market, you know. So again, the power of the samples, right? Lead with that. Now, now I'm starting to talk more and more about the samples. Hey guys, you can get started. You know, you got free samples. Try it out. Right now, is the sample going to be? Guess what? And then if they try the samples for seven days, I guess it's, it's, it's a seven day pack and they get no effects from it. You know what? I think you need a bottle. Why don't you try a bottle? Yeah. Right now they're going to try a bottle, right? But more than likely they're going to get something from it because they usually do, right? They're going to get some kind of effect. And then they're, they're like, wow, this is amazing. You know, and they upgrade from that. But again, the beauty of the system, like you talk about duplication, guys, you talk about duplication. So now I'm leading with that more and more. Before I, I was leading with the executive pack. I wanted executives. I don't want that anymore. I want people to just come in with the samples. Go ahead, Chris. Uh, and you're, you're muted, man. <laughs> Sorry. The thing that I heard the other day, and I don't remember who said it, get in where you fit in. Yeah. That's Robert Hollis. That's, that's huge because I was anti. In fact, I told all my team guys, everyone that talked to me, I told them I'm not sold on the sample packs at all, at all. <laughs> um, but then when I heard get in where you fit in, that made it much that I, it went off the bell went off and i went wait a minute we explain it to them we tell them the options and they get in where they fit in and we can always upgrade so that i think it was you ron was it you that said get in where you fit in uh, was, both, both uh um, robert and i have said it on a number of occasions yeah yeah so that really helped me with that well and here and here again here's what i'll tell you is that you're gonna you're gonna hear this and and i'm sure Corey has heard this over his his career of this is you'll, you'll hear people talk and, and Carlos just mentioned it. You know, people that don't have skin in the game, don't do anything. And if I, you know, I, I think I'm going to write a book. <laughs> I, I think I'll have to color it because I don't write very good. But, um, the myths of network marketing. And that's going to be like number one myth. Yeah. Because there, there are people out there that are teaching I, and I was in a, a network marketing company not long ago where the, where my sponsor told me, came out and told me, and they knew my reputation of building and how to, you know, and all this, but they came out and told me and said, Ron, if you don't buy our $4,000 package, 
we'll, we'll still love on you and you'll be part of the team and everything, but we're not going to work with you. You know what my response was? I, I'm out. I, no, I told him, I said, I didn't ask to work with you. I want a lot more than what you can do. Huh. So here's, here's the reality, and, and Carlos will confirm this. There are programs out there that are upwards of $60,000, $70,000 that people invest in. If that's not skin in the game, I don't know what is. And then do nothing. And then do nothing, right? right. It's not about skin in the game. It has nothing to do with skin in the game. And, and a, the best example was with Carlos and I and this guy, Chris Daigle. What got him is, and is taking him from a $12 and a $20 affiliate fee to executive and to building his business is Ron and Carlos. It's the passion we have. It's the vision we have. He constantly kept saying during the Zoom we were talking about, man, I... You know, I am in the right place. I'm so blessed to be with you guys. And, and he, he saw our passion. He saw our vision. That's what's taken him from a $12 to a $500. That's skin in the game. Yeah. It's right. you. Right. Right. You. Corey. Can, can I comment you? on that just for a quick Yeah. Second? Yeah. I just want to say really quickly, because I couldn't agree more with everything that you just said, Ron. For me you know, instead of it being skin in the game, I think the reason I was so on board with the sample right from the get-go is I think it's the result, right? And what's so different to me about CBD is so many people see a result in the first week, right? With most things, people don't really see a result in the first week, right? But we're talking like in the first three days, almost everybody that I've seen try C CBD is messaging me back saying, Ah, I had fibromyalgia and I don't have any pain anymore, right? My pain is, right? And so my very first sample pack was like that. And she's executive. She just went, she ordered a director pack to start today. She ordered another director pack on the 31st because she wanted to be executive. And that's from a sample pack, right? So for me, you know, I believe that Robert Hollis is the reason that we have a sample pack, right? And so if Robert is on board with the sample pack, that means that immediately I'm on board with the sample pack because there's a whole logic behind the entire process. And I know for me, you know, I'm, the only other comment I wanted to make really quickly, because I always say like, listen to the guys who are beyond you. And so for me, it's like, I see Carlos and I see Ron, Carlos is 25 now, Ron is 50K now, Robert's, you know, we're, we're, you know so far up there already. I'm just like, I'm just gonna learn from these guys. Um, but just a really quick comment um, on the whole Facebook message strategy that, you know, Ron and I and maybe Carlos started with, you know, uh, we, you know, you were saying how you looked at the green, right? We called it green means go in my team. So that was like our kind of motto when I first got started was green means go. If, if you see green on the side of your screen, um, those are the people to send a message to. And I agree with what, what Ron said, like, you know, we kind of have a little bit of background in this industry. So some of the people that follow us are kind of already interested, right? So all I would say is, you know, if you're going to do the 25 message a day strategy, like for the first three weeks or for three weeks or whatever it is, you know, let's say that Ron would get, you know, 10 full yeses for every, like 10 yeses, I want the information for every hundred people he private message. And I don't know what the numbers are, right? Well, maybe if your list isn't as many people that are entrepreneurial, you might get three or four or five that say yes for every hundred people. I want the information, um, you know, that you message, right? Is that worth it? Well, maybe you potentially find your Chris, you know what I mean? You know, maybe you find your Jana or maybe you find your Walter, right? So I'm on that board, which said I'm on the side of things that says, I think that makes sense to do in my opinion. I just would never say it's the only thing we could do. We should do. Right. So Ron, being that you're the 50 K affiliate, I said that for a reason. I wanted to know if you agree with me or not. Right. Do you think that something that somebody who's getting involved in the industry should do is go actually send 25 messages a day until they get through their friends list? I, I, again, I, I, it, it worked for me. I think that's, it's a good way to start. Um, I, at this point in time, um, I would, I would probably, what I know now and with the new sample programs and everything, I would not make that my primary. I would just, 
because you can you can message 25 people like that i mean that takes what you know five ten 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 fifteen minutes you know um i think what and and, and i'm i want to get to walters because that's that's my forte hmm. um i think what we're doing right now with um a program called many chat is 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 an amazing amazing tool and in fact where um carlos got his his uh sample sale was off a, a mini chat flow that he used and it automates basically it gives allows me to automate a, a a process that before i was copying and pasting and so forth so at some point i'm going to teach that to people because it it doesn't take away from what robert says it just takes what robert says and makes it automatic so that i can reach out to more people at, at a time right and, it, and if you've noticed in the dream team i have the little bot right and that little bot now takes the team through well i'll tell you in a second but um it it, it all comes down to your audience it really does it just comes down to your audience and i, I agree with corey totally is that depending on what your audience is, your statistics, it, it, it comes down to your audience and you. And I talked about that before. You've got to become a better you. You just, you have to. If you're, if you're afraid of change and, and you're, and I've met these people in life that say, you know what, I am who I am. And if you don't like it, too bad, right? Well, guess what? Too bad, you know? So you've got to be that person that says, how can I get better? How can, you know, they call it attraction marketing. How can I become more attractive? Right? I shaved. Maybe that helps. You know, um, how can I become more attractive? That's your that's your goal. Is you want to become a better pe better people. Just wash my lips. Can't do a thing with them. You want to become a better person so that instead of attracting down here, you're attracting up here. And then when you start messaging out with people, I mean, you guys would be amazed at who I have reaching out to me now. Not only within the company. I was telling uh, Carlos earlier. Sonia Lyon, 500K affiliate. Celi Smith reached out to me today and asked me how, you know, congratulated me on 50K and all this. People that aren't, we have no financial interest in and so forth. But as you get out there and as you start doing your Facebook lives and you start getting out in front of people and you start building a better you, your audience changes so that when you send those messages out, that rate of return gets higher and higher and higher. So now you send out a hundred, you're getting two or three response. You get better and better. Now it's four or five. You get better and better and better. Now it's 10. So it becomes much more profitable, but it always comes down to those things of you getting better. And you know, if you can't change your audience, change your audience. You've, you've got to get in front of the right people because you've got a message and it's got to be in front of the right people. Now, Walter, to answer your question and then I'm going to shut up and I'm going to let the, the, the two pros down here take over. Um, I didn't start the Deering Dream Team, and, and, and I'll tell you this, every network marketing business I've been in, I've always got to a level where I felt like I needed to start my own group. And I've always told myself, it's at this rank. When I get to this rank, I mean, not, not everyone, but probably 80% of the, of the businesses I've been in. So for me, when I got involved with MDC, I looked at it, I said, I looked at the comp plan and said, okay, as soon as I get to 10K affiliate, I'm going to start my own group. I'm going to start my own team. I'm going to, you know, it's going to be the dream team again. And that's, that's what I'm going to do. I didn't know at the time it would happen so fast, but it did. Okay. The reason I put that criteria on it is because I wanted people up until that point to be the edifier of Robert, of Robert, of Robert and to put him on the, on the pedestal, if you will, and still do that. So I didn't want to muddle that in any way by creating the dream team until I got to a rank where I felt, okay, now I've got enough leadership, enough of a team to do that. And then it made sense to me. Okay. So that was my criteria of when I started the dream team. It happened. It was in June. I started the dream team and then I started Saturday weekly trainings every Saturday. And, and the first response I got was from another leader telling me, oh, don't do that. You don't want to do that every week. And, you know, because people, you're taking time away from people building a business and, and a number of different things. And, and we agreed to disagree. And now that Saturday training, 
if you've been on them recently, how many how many did we have last time, Carlos? I, what was there? Yeah, no, it it, uh, it it was upwards of like seventy something. I think it was it was it was high. It was a high number, yeah. seventy or eighty people, right? Yeah, and, and, and when Robert's there, it's like over a hundred all the time. Oh yeah, we we're trying to max it out. We get close, but we we haven't got to that two hundred. So you've est- you established this. So now people are asking all the time, "Hey, how do we get on your training? How can we come to your training? How can we come to your training?" It wasn't like that in the beginning. When we first started, we had 10, 15 people on, you know. But guess what? I reached out to Robert Hollis. Would you do a training? So he did a training. Well, that week we had 20 or 30 on, right? Then we reached out to the Barfields. Then we reached out to Tim and Lacey Garza. They were guest speakers. Then we had Melody Riba on there. She was a guest speaker. You know, I started just asking and reaching out to leaders and asking them. The, the first one we had on was Aaron. Aaron was on the first one I did. So we, we started reaching out to, to other leaders that like you're saying, Corey, that were above me and, and had more knowledge and experience and, and so forth. And that Saturday training now has evolved into this, you know, monster kind of that everybody wants to come to and everybody comes to and gets training for it. And we've recorded them and, and so forth. You develop into that, Walter. You, you, you're you at a spot right now where you, I, I agree with your concern. Do we, do we create our own team and that? And, and I don't, I, I don't know a definitive answer of yes or no, but you need to decide when you think that you can be the leader of that team. Because you don't want to create a team and not be the leader of it. Chris? Great point, guys. Um, Because I've talked to Ron about this a lot, and I struggle with the word leader. And I know it has to do with my confidence and my definition, because Ron pointed out to me what the definition actually was. I have to be very careful about my ego and my pride because it will kill me. It almost did twice. So Ron explained to me that a leader is somebody that creates more leaders. And I think we've all heard that from Ron. And my, for me, on what you brought up, Walter, and what you've said, Ron, is I created Team Hope. And I think everyone on here knows why. Um, Because I wanted to follow a different team. And I had those beliefs and I had those thoughts and I had those feelings. And um, so for me, I think Corey's team, the Deering Dream team and the team Hope, we can all be one. We can all we can all follow each other. I don't want to get too many teams going because, you know, it's it's Corey's team and Ron's team and team Hope. We're all working together, you know, and so I I watch Ron more than I watch anything. I watch the Deering Dream team more than I watch anything. And um, and not that I don't look at the, the power team. Don't get me wrong, guys. I do look at the power team, and I do see things, and I do look for things there. But um, I think Team Hope is kind of already part of Team, you know, the Deering Dream team and part of Corey's team. And I, I don't know if right now is the time to do that. Like, I, I don't – I don't know. I mean, that's kind of my feeling on it. I think you're. I think you're right there where you're at. Um, my my biggest thing was when uh, just like the technology that's available, like with uh, Ron Deering, what you're using right now. Like, I'm more interested in the platform and the way to communicate um, because I agree. You know, there's plenty of teams out there that we can reach out to, and we're all part of the the same team really essentially we all want the same things and that's to create other leaders and see other people have success otherwise we're not going to have success so I I guess I was more interested in the tools uh, that that Ron that you're using and any of the other leaders like for example the zoom uh, do you have to upgrade to a certain package to get the features that you're using Um, do you have to have you know a certain level laptop and then also just just the platforms like mini chat is that an app that you use is that through facebook can you elaborate on that a little bit (laughs) yeah you know what's funny real quick ron yeah what's funny walter is Corey and i were just talking about this 20 minutes ago before the zoom (laughs) and what we wanted to do was carlos and ron we know you are as well but carlos we have watched master the lives and I don't know if you guys saw earlier, but me and Corey tried to do it a little while ago. And it was like Barney and Clyde. It was hilarious. So, Carlos, you took me through a Zoom into a Facebook, and it was perfect. 
That's what I'm looking for. Yeah, that's we what we been always do. That's what we always do, and that's why you well, know. Guess who taught me, Ron? Full <laughs> <laughs> well, circle. And, and and Walter, I was I was gonna, I was going to I was I was answering your first question first, but that that my and Carlos should tell you, you know, my forte in life is technology. I love it. And, you know, if, anytime I can use technology to make our lives easier, it's better. So I love Zoom. And uh, one of the things about Zoom, and it, there's, there's two packages involved. They, they've got a number of packages, but there, there's two main packages with Zoom. Three, the free one. But to me, the free one is useless because you can only work with people for 45 minutes and then it shuts everybody off and kicks them out. <laughs> okay. So you don't want the free one. So for $14.95 a month, you get the what's called the Zoom Meetings Pro. Okay. Now with the Zoom Meetings Pro, you can do meetings like we're doing. That's what we're using right now. You can have up to 100 people on the meeting. You can go for as long as you want. You can record them. You can't go live on Facebook or YouTube or anything like that. But you can do all of this that we're doing, record them and, and make trainings like this. So this is what I, and, and I created a link called the pretty link and uh, that's rondeering.com for us on zoom makes it real easy and i use i give this link out i don't know between carlos and i our two links are going out on the internet a hundred times a day probably i don't know what it is but it's a lot i know from for he and i it's that's the going joke my wife my wife will walk by the office and say are you on with your boyfriend again you know so uh, <laughs> you know, it's a going joke and, and my little my little four year old grandson he walks in and he says rupted, did I did I for interrupted, I didn't I didn't rupted you and Mr Carlos did I you know so. <laughs> this is this is an amazing platform I grew up in the arena where you did belly to belly face to face Starbucks or home sure. meetings and things like that you don't need to do that anymore but if I can do a a live or a Zoom with you and Walter I can see your face I can see what's going on with you I can I probably 80% or better the time I can get you on board and get you upgraded and get you going period. But if I've got to talk to you on the phone and I just, it's, and it's my fault. I just don't have the enthusiasm. I don't have the desire. It's just, but if I can get you on a, a three way or a one-on-one -on, -one on the zoom, it's an amazing, amazing tool. Okay. The next part is what's called the webinar add on. And I think it's like $49 a month. So total, you, and you have to have the pro. So you're talking about $64, $65 a month, right? To me, that's a business cost that's well worth it. With the webinar add-on, now I can go live. And not only can I go live on my own profile, I can go live in any group. I can go live on your profile. And what I did was I created a training video on Facebook about Facebook in the settings. So what Carlos and I do is if I'm gonna go live, Jen, if we're gonna go live together on yours, I'm gonna send you this video and the video is gonna step you through the settings that you need to set on your Facebook profile so that it works, right? Ah, uh, okay. gotcha. So, That's you. yeah, because we have so many people that will, they'll set up one of the, the, the privacy settings and we can go live, but they've set it up so that the, the one that allows anybody else to see it other than friends is, is turned to friends and not everybody. So they go yeah. live and the only people that see it are friends or nobody, if they're not friends with them and they happen to be on the same team, they can't even comment on it. They can't do anything with it. Yeah. The worst so, thing you want to do is generate all this enthusiasm and everybody's so excited and everybody's so excited. They want to communicate, but yet when they try to connect, it's like epic fail. And it's like, then they're disgusted and they're discouraged and they're like, I don't want to do this anymore. It's like, no, you do. We just got to get it right. So you gotta get it right. This, this to me is epic. Well, and if you, when you're in Zoom, if you go down to the bottom where it says stop video, there's a little arrow there. If you, if you click on that arrow, it, it give, allows you to choose cameras and things like that. But it's also got a video setting. And if you click on that video setting, it's going to bring up a window and it says on there, enable HD 16.9 widescreen, enable, you know, touch up my appearance. I'm 87 years old. I just look 66. It touched up my appearance. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, I mean, it, 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 it gives you everything to make it now. Technically, Walter, I've got, I've got lights. If you can see here, I've got, you know, photo lights over here. All of my bulbs in, the, in, my, in this room 
I've replaced with what they call daylight bulbs. The Calvin setting on them is like, I don't know, 60,000 or six, six, six billion or something. But it's like being outside. It's like sunlight. You know, it's, it's, it, it, it gives you vitamin D along with, it gives you a much better, it, and it really does. It really does give you vitamin D. I thought you had a tan. Yeah, yeah. Um, but the lighting is a big thing. The, the biggest thing that when you're doing videos is it, no matter how good the video is though, if your audio isn't good, people won't watch. I'll tell you that right now. If the audio is bad and it's going, shh, that's why I don't do very many lives anymore with phones. Yeah. Do lives because Facebook continually has these issues where yeah. people are cutting out and somebody turns their phone this way and somebody turns and, and now you got this little it's a nightmare. Oh, it's terrible. With Zoom, not only can I can control that, but I also can record it in HD. I can download it, give it to the people afterwards. It is, in my opinion, other than Robert Hollis personal training and being a part of the tribe or the or the inner circle. For my personal growth, that's one monthly I have, and the other is Zoom. We've built, uh, Carlos, and I'm sure Carlos will jump in and, and agree with this. We've built our team using Zoom, period. Corey, we just got our answer. Yeah. <laughs> There's no question about it. And I, and I continually try to get Aaron to do it. And he just, he won't have anything to do with Zoom for some reason. He uses it very, you know, very seldom. But it's, I'm telling you, it's, Robert uses it, every, you know, it's, it's the way to go. And I can, we can do webinars, we can do all kinds of things. My Saturday training is using the webinar and I go live on, if, if Robert's here, I go live on the vision team. If he's not, I go live on the dream team. So you, you're getting out there on the, on, the, on the dream team, you're getting live on that Facebook profile, and then you're also recording it. You're also, you can go on YouTube. Let's say YouTube becomes a thing again, and now you want to start going going live on YouTube. Okay. That's yeah. Amazing. Somehow I shared Aaron Parker's live from last night from YouTube to my Facebook page without having the link in it, so it's not like spam. So I, you know, that's key as well. So to be able to share that and say, "Hey, look, get off the struggle bus," you know, here's how Aaron Parker went you know, six figures inside of six months, and then it's got a, a picture, you know, and then you click on it, it goes right to the YouTube video. So, you know, little little things like that, little nuggets like that are, are good. And, and the, other th the only other thing I would tell you to, to you may create is, I, we, we put together the Daring Dream Team YouTube channel. And here's okay. why I did that, okay? I wanted everybody to feel safe to share our YouTube videos. And when you say safe, you mean without spam? No, I don't. I don't care about spam. Okay. In fact, you know, I grew up. I grew up eating a lot of spam. From time <laughs> I love spam. You know, we used to have spam sandwiches, spam and eggs. Spam. Oh. If, you to, if you haven't been to Hawaii, that's the national food in Hawaii. Is spam? I'm telling you. I, I'm not. I'm not concerned about spam, Walter. But what I'm concerned about is if I use a a power team, or if I use like an Aaron YouTube video, they're gonna go click on that and they're gonna go to Aaron's YouTube channel. That's yes. Awesome. Okay, but if they click on one of the Dream Team ones, they're gonna go there and it's generic, it's Dream Team, it's not mine, it's not yours, it's not anybody's, it's just a channel called the Dream Deering Dream Team. They can't, they're not gonna find any links of anybody else's site on there, they're not gonna be able to contact anybody else because there's, they're just gonna look at videos, they may look at a video and say, oh, there's a video of, of Ron and Carlos, that's great. You know, there's a video of, of, you know, Carlos and Chris or Corey and Walter, whatever. But it's, 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 it's linked to a generic team site, and therefore it's not any one person. And I wanted people to feel safe to share those YouTube videos without feeling like, you know, they were going to go to Aaron or anybody else. And not just so basically by sharing that post, somebody could go to that, click on that page, and then they would be going towards his uh be his on his then yeah. if say they wanted to work directly with Aaron, why would they work with me if they could work directly with Aaron? So I could have just bypassed a potential lead by sharing that. You could have, and I don't want to, you know, I don't want to. No, I'm here to learn. That's why I'm, yeah. I'm here to, you know, get these little bits of nuggets so we can all improve. And, and every bit that you guys are sharing is, is helping me tremendously. So I'm extremely grateful for everyone. Um, on that yeah. note, too, if I can speak up really quickly. Oh, yeah. That's also why we need to stop in our team. I've noticed a lot of people doing it still is sharing the videos on Facebook that I post or that Ron posts, yeah. or somebody else posts, right? 
we have to make sure people are actually going and downloading the video and then uploading it to Facebook. Otherwise you're giving leads to me or to Ron, yep. or whoever's video that you're sharing. Right. And really, really I noticed that I noticed that I was doing some training on the, in the back office for the matrix. I think it's day three and day four escape your matrix in the back office. And I said, Oh, I'm being an idiot because I'm, you know, you think you're sharing, but then I'm sharing your content or their content instead of, sharing it you're saying kind of use it put it in your own words download it and then upload the file and then put it in your own words and so they're not you're not sharing your page or ron's page or, or robert hollis's page you're actually creating one that's somewhat unique and it's your own but i'm not sending traffic to to you basically is that correct yeah, yeah. yeah and it's really easy because robert has the page with all the videos on it so we just go to the page download the video that we want and then we upload it to Facebook. So it doesn't matter if you copy my words exactly or you copy Ron's yeah. words exactly. It just matters that the video is your own video and not shared from another Facebook page. Which is exactly a huge mistake that I've been making and I didn't realize it until I saw that uh, in the back office, so. Here's, here's what, one, if, you go, if you go into the Deering Dream Team again under files, there's mm -hmm. a, a, a document that I updated and I don't even remember the name of it um, at this point, but it's, I've given you guys access to my Google Drive. And in that Google Drive is got one folder that's got a ton of Facebook graphics that you can use. And I've taken any names off it, any, any uh, web addresses off of them and things like that. I just go keep picking them. Every time I see a good one, I grab it and I upload it up there. So you guys have access to that. You can click on them and download them. Every, just about every time I do a video, uh, a, a, an interview video or anything like that, I take the copy off of Zoom and I put it in a folder in my Google Drive called MDC interview videos. So if I, you know, Chris, you and I do a video when I'm done, I, I download that video, I upload it to my Google Drive and I upload it to the Deering Dream team under team training or team interviews and stuff. So I'm, I'm putting them out in a lot of places where you guys can download them whatever the video is, and then upload them as your own. Now, I want to just caveat that with, I don't want you to get a scarcity mindset, like there's only so many people out there, and if I, they go to Ron, they're gonna to go to Ron and everything else, because that's, that'll destroy you know, a lot of things in your life. But it's just being prudent. You don't, you know, that's why, that's why Robert gives his Wistia site out, that's why I give the Google Drive out, so that you guys can make all of this stuff your own, all right? And you guys have full access to that. And it's got a ton of things, graphics. You know, uh, uh, Chris, if you want your graphic on your 5K, there's a, there's a folder in there called Rank Advancement Graphics. You can go out there, you can pull up mine, you can pull up yours. Every time I make one for somebody, I, I upload it up to that Google Drive so people have access to it, okay? Now, the only other, you know, so on, on, my, on my audio, and, and I think uh, Carlos has this also, You'll see, here's, here's my microphone. This is what's called, uh, um, yep, see he's got the same one. It's called a Blue Yeti. It's a USB microphone. I think they, they run about 100 bucks. And that little thing you see in the, in the front, that's called a pop filter, because if I, you know, it kind of keeps your, your audio cleaner and stuff. Um, you'll see that on all, you know, like recording stars, if they're in the studio, there's that pop filter right in front of all the mics in there. So I think that that whole thing maybe cost me $120, $125 or something. So basically you're telling me if I get the microphone and the pop filter, I'm going to be a star. I think I, I, think I said that. I think, and and you, you've already, Walter, you've already got the beard. <laughs> Poor Ron. Poor Ron. Don't get jealous. Hey, hey, hey guys, hey guys let, me, let me show the screen so you know what Ron is talking about real quick. All right. So when you come into the Deering Dream Team group, okay, all right, you come into files. Oops. So where Robert's talking about, this is the Google Drive resources. Come in here. Yeah, good. Why don't you go ahead? Thanks, uh, Carlos. If you click on that, show them. And then come in here, and you got awesome graphics, and we got tons of graphics. And these are at, these are at your fingertips, guys. Feel free to you know use them and then yeah. so look at the one that says MDC Facebook post right your yeah. MDC right. Facebook posts click on that wait for they wait till they download there they go you got access to all of these 
Oh, Look wow. at all that stuff. Wow. I mean, and they're still downloading. They're still wow. downloading. Yeah. Wow. I, I love this one here. This is one of my favorite. I, that one. Check that one out. So can you take me one step further? <laughs> and guys, and guys <laughs> once you open it, hold on, guys. Once you open it, so what you do, you download it right here. This is how you download the image. You see that? You might have to move your window to see it. Oh, did I? Oh. Not you. Not you, Carlos. But my, my okay. the, the window with all the, uh, the videos was, was covering it up. But it's up in the upper right-hand corner where you. Okay. Yeah, hold on. So, for example, uh, that you open it up. All right? Can you see? You guys, see this? Yes. yes. Yeah. Right there. It has a download. Okay. Perfect. Right. You same can, with videos, I'm sure. Yeah. yeah same, same. Same exact thing. If you go to the training videos or the interview videos. I like, I like this one, guys. Yeah, that was one of my favorites. Yeah. <laughs> 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 all right, no Bill Murray. He, right, he so looks like he looks like his, his character in Caddyshack. There, yeah, he does. <laughs> he does. Would you, right, would hold you, on, guys. And then, and there was a, what was the other thing that you mentioned, Ron? You mentioned something else here. Oh, the um, what did you mention here? Do, 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 do. You oh, said something about uh, right there. Mini... Ron's got a slew of resources here, guys. You know, if you haven't gone to the Robert's Vision Team process, Ron, Ron, Ron lays it out so eloquently. He did. He created like about an eighteen-minute video here. Take the time to watch this. Okay. So you're in, uh, you're in, these files are in Robert Hollis's uh, no, files. This is, is right? this is Deering Dream Team. Okay, Deering Dream Team. Yeah, I'm on that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then you just go into files. Got and it. Google, everything's here. But all the that, that says, audio books. I the mean, one that says Google, Google resources, that's the one where here. I put all, upload all the videos and all of that stuff. That's okay. all. You just got to check out those different, you know, the graphics okay. there. For the you, uh, rank advancements and all that stuff. And, yeah, and the rank advance. Remember, we said the rank advancement graphics. Here they go. See the rank advancement. That, that was yeah. the other. And, but and, I, and it's going to be. It's going to be. That link's probably not going to work. So I'm going to get rid of that because okay. you can click on that, Carlos. Uh, because I moved it. Watch. Watch it work. But I don't think it'll work because. Oh, maybe it will. Who knows? There you go. There are the graphics. Look at that. There you go. Oh. Now, a question on the graphics, like we wait, I, I text Aaron Parker about Chris Livingston's getting promoted and he said something about we're waiting on corporate to verify it and then I'm going to upload it. But I basically asked him where I could find those graphics. And uh, so <laughs> do we, do we use those graphics or do we wait or do those come from corporate or what's the policy on that? If somebody gets promoted, do we have to wait from corporate to, to hey promote? Guys, guys, we we call it Ron, Ron's corporate office. Can I say something real quick? Yeah. I've noticed that Aaron Parker left me off of all that stuff this month. Um, I don't really care. I, I really don't. It bothered me last month, and I appreciate that, doing that. Um, but he's singling, and we know, and I'm not mad, guys. People can, and Ron, you know, Carlos, you know, Walter, I've spoke to you. Um, he's been leaving me out of a lot of stuff, which is cool. I'm fine with that. I have my team. My team's the Dream, the Deering Dream team and Team Hope and Corey's co-op team. Those are my teams. So whether he gives me the credit or not, I'm okay. And Walter, Corey, yeah. to answer, Walter, to answer your question, yeah. uh, it, it, Aaron Collier just made 10, 10 k million. Okay. Right. I, I got a message. Aaron. Car Carlos isn't muted. He's talking to his daughter. I got, it. Uh, I, got a, I got a message from Aaron uh, Parker asking me to create the graphic for Aaron Collier. So if any of you, I've got a. Oh, okay, so we just Corey, reach out to you. Do you know Photoshop? Pardon? Do you know Photoshop? Yeah, no. <laughs> no okay. All right. I, I used so to everybody go straight to, to Corey for your digital graphic. <laughs> Any digital, Corey's the man. <laughs> I I used to teach Photoshop, so I do I use Photoshop for everything and graphic wise. So Car uh, Robert Hollis months and months and months ago gave me kind of a, the the graphic, and he said, you know, I I just take this into Canva and do this and do this with it. Well, to me that was long and drawn out, so I took it into Photoshop and actually made a template out of it. Where all I got to do is go to your profile, grab the picture, pop it in there. And it goes behind the graphics so that the circle's there. And I change the name and boom. How, how long does it take me to do it usually? About, I don't know, five minutes or something. 
Okay. So whenever you need one, don't hesitate to ask me. Jana, when you get 5K, you know, a lot of times I make them for you early so that you can vision board with them. I yeah. like that. Carlos, yeah. is, Carlos has already got his 50K here. Right. <laughs> um, look, this is, this is my other monitor, my digital vision board, as Carlos calls it. Dun, 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 dun. Nice. Nice. Affiliate. I just changed that. That was 50K affiliate up until the day that I got 50K. And then I immediately changed it over to the 100K affiliate. And can I say one more thing really quickly too? Um, you know, if as different ones of us make higher levels, one of the things that I've learned is always kind of give your upline the benefit of the doubt. So what I mean by that is like Aaron has a lot of people rank advancing because all of us are underneath of Aaron, right? Every single one of us, including Ron. So if Aaron doesn't mention somebody, it's not that he necessarily means not to mention someone, right? It's that he's somehow missed them in the process. So I work really hard on giving my upline the benefit of the doubt always. So, you know, you're going to want your team to give you the benefit of the doubt if you ever make a mistake in that area. So it's a good idea to throw it up. Yeah. Well, and, and, here's, and here's what I'll tell you. Is. Uh, excuse me, guys. I, I got to run. I got another meeting I'm a little late for. All right. See you. Love you guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank, Thank you, you, Carlos. Thank you. All right. Excuse me, guys. Right, bye. Love you, guys. Yeah, love you, too. This is, this is what, I, what I do, okay? And, and, and Aaron has just come to know it, and he, he'll, he, he'll tell you this. It, it, it makes it easy on him. Anybody on my team that rank advances? I, I'm the one that posts it, not Aaron. I do all the posting. So he doesn't have to worry about it. He never has to worry about anybody that's on my team being rank advanced and being posted. I post on the vision team, post on the dream team, post on the power team. I take that burden away from him. And as a leader, that's what you guys want to do too. Walter, if, if, if Chris, you know, you post. You post his graphic and you raise him up. That be, makes you the leader. Remember what we talked about earlier, and, I, and, Car and Christopher and I had this discussion quite early on when he had confided in me about, you know, I, I just don't feel like I can be a leader. And yeah. we, talk, we talked about what a leader is. A leader isn't someone you become, it's someone who you create. Yeah. So actually, Bill Browning is a friend of mine who is, um, uh, is going to be Chris's upline. So I actually... Uh, reached out to him and I said, Hey, we need to promote Chris. And he said, yeah, why don't you do that? I said, no, why don't you do that? He's like, Oh, I'd love to do that. And cause I actually put leadership in his position cause um, we, we know that. And it's like, okay, so why don't you do it? And uh, he said, I can make a graphic and do it. So if you look back at the timeline, when Chris first got promoted, Bill Browning, he made one and I won't say it's the greatest one or the best one, but he made an attempt and it actually put the leadership skill in his pocket. So yeah, he, he got involved and he, he was like, yeah, okay, let's do it. And he was super excited about it. It may have not been the best graphic, but that's when my graphic okay. question okay. came into play. And it's like, okay, uh, there's, there's a process for this and I'm out of the loop. So I just need to get plugged in on what it is. So thanks for your help with that. Yeah. It's, it, it, you, you, you want to push your, and Corey is exactly right. You always want to, you know, it, if you've got a problem, you take it up line. If you've got a praise, you take it down line. That's just the standard. Right. If you've if you've got an issue, you take it to your upline, you know. So Robert and I talk on a daily basis. And it's not always about or today I sent him a, a, a voice message and I said, Robert, you're always doing things for everybody. What can I do for you? What is it that you need my technical expertise for that I that I can do and I can help you out? He came back and said, Pull out your magic wand, I want you five hundred K by by October. I said, <laughs> I could do that. I could do that, you know. So no. but the more that you can push that leadership down, you, you will never see me unless, you know, Carlos is, is gone or on vacation or something like that. You will never see me post one of Carlos's people's rank advancement. He will always post that. Jan Janice uh, Mann is going to hit 5K. She's like 150. She'll hit it today. Guess who's going to post hers? Dawn, her sponsor, who's a 5K, is going to post hers on, on the dream team, on the power team. Okay, Troy Barrett, he's got a guy, Chuck Heller, that's 79 away. He'll hit 5K today. Troy Barrett, I, sent, I send him the graphic, I, and I know I'm watching all this, so I'm sending them the graphics and saying, okay, 
you're doing this. You're doing this. I'm not. You do. You need to post yours. And the, and the leaders know that, and they jump up. They jump. They'll they'll get to me before. Hey, I got so and so. They're you know seven thousand away, but I know they're going to make it. Can you send me the graphic? You know they're so excited about doing it. And and then I then I try to send them the next graphic, the next level. So like Chuck Heller, he's got the ten k. Janice Mann, so she has five k. I'm going to send her the ten k. I want them to start vision boarding. I want them to start picturing that and putting that in their heads. That's where the leadership comes. It's not you being a leader. It's you becoming a leader factory. And that's what we all want. I think is the understanding. The more leaders that we make, the more successful that we'll be by helping others achieve what, what we want them to achieve. So by empowering them to be able to reach out and get these graphics and, and promoting and edifying others, then that should come back our way anyway, regardless. I mean, if we're, I mean, is that the right concept? I can't, I can't read. What is it? It's a picture of something, isn't it? Jan is at 2553. Sorry. Go ahead, Walter. 5K this month, Jana. Go ahead, Walter. <laughs> no, you're, I, right. you're right. You're right, Walter. That, and, but it, and it's, and it's, it's, it's exactly that. It's you from the top leading and I don't and I the, the leader doesn't you know people think the leader leads from the front you know they lead from the front you know they what they do they lead from the back yeah they actually lead from the back and they from the back guess what I can see guess guess what I can see if I'm up front nothing <laughs> guess what I can see when I'm at, in the back Your I can team. see everything that's going on on my team so from the back, I can I can come and, and see. Okay, you know, Chris is doing this, Jan is doing this, Corey's doing this. Well, you know, I can I can get the whole picture because I can look at everybody and where they're at and where they're going. And it's a lot easier for me instead of doing this. Okay, you know, is everybody following? I can see. I can. I've already set out the path for them to go. If this person and this team starts going over this way, I, now I can see them very clearly. Hey, they're going out this way. I can go back and grab them and say, Hey, watch out. But if I'm in, the, I'm in the front of the pack, I can't see all that stuff. I can't. Yeah. My, my leadership style has always been not to bark orders and expect to get it done, but it's always been to kind of dig in and show them how to do it. And then once I've showed them how to do it, to let them do it and, and maybe just help them along the way. If there's something they can critique or they can push or, or change a little bit, then, to, you know, to maybe make some suggestions. But it's always beneficial as a leader when you see the people that are on your team start to take that lead position and do what you've shown them how to do not what you told them to do but what you showed them how to do and um, so that's kind of always been my leadership style uh, the other thing you mentioned and I don't want to take up too much time so if I'm talking too much just tell me or anybody else has questions they can just shut me up but uh you mentioned mini chat is that a Facebook app what is that no Many chat is um, a program, and and if you if you when you register for the bot, you're going to kind of see you know it work and go through it. But many chat is a program outside of Facebook. It connects to Facebook, but it allows you to create. It it's basically an auto. You know you know at Aweber and and uh, get response and um, Mailchimp and all those are right. They're autoresponders. You collect, you collect people's information on an opt-in form, just like we do with, you know, HempWorks BizOp and, and our opt-in forms. And then they become part of your email list and then you email them. And you can email them campaigns just like we get through uh, the company, right? You, you get a, a, when you become a pre-enrollee, you start getting emails. When you, when you buy samples, you start, you get the 16 uh, email series. ManyChat is, is a conceptually a, a very similar program but it's all based on messenger so now i get to send out it's like when you first register with the, with the dream team bot i have a sequence which is an autoresponder series i have a sequence that i put together that drips on you once every day for five days through messenger so it's like instead of me going to aweber and you know because here, here's here's the reality statistical reality of it high end 20 percent of the people that you send emails to open them. That's the hot, very best 20 to 25%, right? I send emails to everybody that pre-enrolled since I started back in August. And uh, I did that last night and I haven't got one single response. Back, so. No, the percentage of people that open messenger. The, well, the problem is I bought some leads thinking, that, Hey, I can help 
help them that, you know, generate leads in my spare time because I'm working my other full-time job and then I can generate leads. So I purchased some leads out of my back office and what I wound up was with just some emails and I didn't have them on Facebook. So I wasn't able to connect with them and make the connections like I really wanted to. So well, I really, that's, uh, that's why you use mini chat to collect all their information. Let me show you real quick what uh, mini chat is so you can kind of get an idea here. Oops. <laughs> I'm sorry. Not all you Who see. is that guy? Yeah. That's the dream board, baby. <laughs> all right. Can you guys see that? Now? Yeah, hey. we can so see. Is it. that your wallpaper, Ron? Yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah. That's just my wallpaper. It's awesome. Everyone needs one of those. Yeah. Well, I don't want you putting me up on your wallpaper, but <laughs> that is brilliant. But but Carlos called it. That's my digital. That's my digital vision board, if you will. Right. So that's sitting in, I've got, I've got my iMac sitting in front of me. And that's why if I look like I'm looking on the side, that's where my camera is. And then I've got a 27 inch monitor over here and I keep that on there. So when I'm working over here in the side of my vision is that 100K, 100K, 100K sitting in my face. Love it. So, so I think what I'm, what I'm hearing you say about the, uh, about the bot is like, there was a, somebody sent me a, a link to a keto diet. And this, this doctor comes up and he says, hey, are you interested in keto diet? Yes or no? So I click yes. And then immediately pop back. Hey, would you like to see receive free recipes, uh, weekly recipes? And I click yes. And then automatically, bam. Okay. You'll be added to our weekly recipes. Is that yeah. what we're talking about? That yeah, kind of technology. Let me just start. This, this morning I sent out a, a broadcast, just like if I was in a, with an email program, right? I sent out a broadcast that's, it says, um, Congratulations, new 5K, Tom Rec, right? So right. Here, here's this, this broadcast, all right? So if I go back to the broadcast, it was sent out to 103 people that so far have registered with the Dream Team bot. Look at the percentage of, of reading it, 78%. This one was 80%, 96%, 92%, 89%. Strong. You're not going to see anything like that in an in a email, okay? No. It's just not, not going to happen. What now, you, is this paid for? Is this a feature that you pay for? I'm sure. This is a program, and it's it's pretty expensive to get the get the monthly with all the bells and whistles. I it, imagine. Yeah, it is. It's it's ten dollars. So, anyway, <laughs> I'm not going to tell you how much I spent for those leads that got me nothing so far. I won't tell you. I wish I I wish that people would pay me not to just tell them don't get leads, but I mean. <laughs> And I'm not saying, and, and Corey, Corey's probably like, oh, you, I'm going to get you for this. But, you know, leads, leads are only as good as you spend the time to work them. Yeah. They're, they're, not, they're not warm. They're not, you know. So here, here's, here's a good example. Um, uh, just wanna, let, me, uh, let me go back to here. Here's automation. Here's a sequence, okay? So when someone opts in, when someone clicks on that link in the Dream Team to join the bot, the next five days are going to get these sequences. So if I look at this first sequence, and I love the way it does it, it's in a graphic so you can see it, you know, it's, it, it starts just like you were saying, it gives them this one. Then it, I, I put a fake typing in here, you know, the three little dots come up. So it looks yeah, a little bit more exactly. and then boom, it gives them this one back office login. Okay. So they need, they, what's the first thing that people want to do when they get in the business is they want to remember how to log in. Well, this takes them to a, a the, the link to get to the back office, back, back office login. Then they can click on this and see all about the back office. They can watch this video. Then they can go over here and look at the, this uh, back office basics PDF that gives it to them if they like to read. So it just steps through this with three second little intervals in between, shows them their customer size and they can go learn more about it and takes them to a Facebook team and so forth. Well, once they do that and they, they click on that, you can see it takes them to this next section here and it goes through a couple of other things and then it just says bye. That's day number one. But it knows because it's a sequence that the next time, you know, day number, one day later, it's gonna give them this one, new affiliate orientation. And then day three, it's gonna give them monthly requirements. If they have any questions, they're gonna see the monthly requirements. Mm -hmm. I, don't wanna, I don't wanna have to do this every time. So many chat. It's me, amazing. Yeah, it takes me into a place where I can, now what I did was on my account, and this is what we were talking about earlier, and this is, this is pretty advanced stuff, but um, I created uh, what's these growth tools. I created a link um, to 
the free to a free sample flow. So mm -hmm. I created this free sample flow that all it does is kind of qualify people. Comes up here, they they click on it, it gives them this picture. Hey, would you like to try some free samples? Absolutely. They click on oh, that, they come over here, it says, That's awesome. Here's the next step. Quick question. Are you currently in the USA? Because I don't want them to spin their wheels, right? If they say no, it's like, oh, it's a bummer, you know, when we, as soon as we get them in the USA, I'll tell you. If they say yes, all it does is take them over here. Great. Click on the link. Boom. By the way, if you want to find out more, here's, my, here's the link to my hemp work site. Check it out, too. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Imagine if you had everyone on your team had something like this set up. Imagine how successful they would be. Wow. Hey, you, know, you, know, you know what I will tell you? I'm telling you guys this. Um, so that you know that just because I shaved, I'm still pretty smart. No, okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you guys this because um, I, you know, you you have a, a thirst to learn, and and I don't I don't want you to squirrel, but I'm using these tools. If you noticed, one of those flows I had in there was Robert Hollis Care Package. So I took those scripts that I put together from his training, and I made them into a sequence, a flow. So now when someone asks me about the care package, I just go send them this. And it steps through. Hey, I'm doing, uh, you know, I'm working with a, you know, eight-figure earner, da, 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 da. How would you like to be added to the thing? Yes. Okay, boom. You know, but all the way down to where it says, if, if, you, if you give me permission and your email, because I can collect their email, I'll automatically add you to the tour. And then I get, I get, oh, wow. I get messages where, people, where it tells me, Corey has just given you his email and authorized you to add him to the tour. So what do I do? I'm already in Facebook, so I know their name. I can look at I can look at the audience that I have. I can go over here and look at the audience that I have, and I can click on Bobby Raffin here, and I can you know look. She didn't she didn't go. She's a friend and in the business, but I can see she came in through Daily Basics. I can see you know any of the information I need. From her and I know what her Facebook is and everything because that's all I got. So now I'm connected with her on Facebook. I know her name. I know her email. I go to one of my HempWorks opt-in sites. I put her name and I put her email in there and I pre-enroll her. And as soon as I do that, I send her a message saying, hey, you're pre-enrolled. Um, here's the next video to watch. And it automatically does all that for me. So all I'm telling you is, is that I do this stuff because I want to stay on task for the instructions that Robert gives me. Yeah, exactly. I've gotten to the point where I want to do it a little bit faster. And I've shown this to Robert and to Matt. Uh, Matthew Hollis is his son who's a techie. And they're like, you guys got, you got to teach me this. You got, this is awesome. This is awesome. Because we're not deviating from the instructions. Hey, Amy, we're not deviating from the instructions and from the process. We're using the same process. We're just using a tool to get that process in front of a lot more people, right? And a lot easier. So I don't have to worry about it. So right. I, think, I would love to learn to set that up, but I want to make sure that I'm sending the right message because as many messages, you can send a thousand of the wrong messages, <laughs> or you could probably send three of the right messages and have the, have the, the same impact. You know what I mean? Or probably better with the three right ones than a thousand wrong ones you sent out. Because some wow. people think it's all about messages. It's the number of messages. And, and I can send a thousand messages a day, but if I'm sending the wrong messages, then I'm pretty much shooting myself in the foot. So uh, I, and I, I don't, I don't, I don't right now, what I'm using these for is you'll notice if you watch my lives, almost every single live, I have a link now that I put in it. I'm, I'm not, you know, tell them, I tell people, if you want more information, comment below and everything else. But if, if you're in a hurry and you want to really check this out, just click my link. Perfect. You know, I, I mean, if I look at the major marketing companies out there in the world, do you think that Target would say, hey, if, if, you, if you think you want to learn more about these, these products that we have on sale here, comment below or, or, or private message me and we'll tell you about them. Are you kidding? Target.com is all over everything. What when was the last time you saw a commercial on TV that didn't have a website on it, right? That you can go to. Like yeah. we get into network marketing and we we come into this new universe and we think, oh no, no, you can't do that. That's spammy, and that's this, that's that. That's that's it's hogwash. It's it's Wrong. one of those myths that's going into my book. Because Wrong. I get a lot a lot of traffic 
by putting by link. I get a lot of response. I get a lot of people that are going through and getting the free gifts by clicking on that link. I get very little people that comment. Very little. Ron, Sorry. is it chat, is it, um, is it like AWeber in the sense that if we create a process, we could give a share code and share that share code with our team? Oh, or is you, had, you had to ask me that, didn't you? <laughs> I do because you're a brilliant man. So I need to. Oh, know. see, Corey, Corey's got it down. He knows. Puff up the guy that you want that from. and then <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much absolutely. It, it's, called a, it's called a share link. And if they've got a mini chat account, they, sh they, they click on it and ask at the bottom, do you want to add this flow to your mini chat account? And you say yes, and boom. And there. Ron, is there a referral code for mini chat so that you would earn something if we join it? I, I don't know. There's probably an affiliate program, but I just don't do that. So just sure go ahead enough. and go to minichat.com. Don't okay. worry about it. I'm just curious if I could join no. through you. Just, no. Yeah. no, I make money off of you guys. <laughs> it's called heart money. <laughs> exactly. you guys succeed, and when you guys do well then man, my heart glows and makes my fear <laughs> go back faster all kinds of things so that's awesome i, I just want to thank you for inviting me chris i got a lot out of this tonight and i've already got some new ideas but i've got to run unfortunately i've got class that starts at eight but i just wanted to say thank you again you're very welcome, Amy. You're very welcome, Amy. Thank you. I can't believe it's five o'clock. I've been on here for what? <laughs> I'll see you later. All right, bye. All right, so Corey. No better than let me talk. I know, I know. Corey, real quick, like you, you've seen my back office. You, you're really watching what's going on with us. And I think that we're on track. You and I talked about this earlier. And Ron, I need your advice too. I'm at the point where in my heart, something's telling me to start focusing on my team still sign some people up but really start finding those four or five or six people that are the doers and really start supporting them and so i'm, I'm wondering if my feelings right you're asking me absolutely exactly i mean you know you're right, Chris, right? And I think Ron said it a number of times and Robert said it a number of times, right? Is that all the movers and shakers, once they've got their initial base in place, they're getting three, four, five new people a month and the rest of the time they're focusing on their team. Yeah. So, I mean, that's been a shift for me because I'm naturally just like, recruit, 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 right? And right. I'm watching you guys, right? And I'm seeing what you're doing. I'm like, okay. Right, we've got our base, right? Let's get those four or five new people a month. We're not gonna stop, ever stop recruiting, but our focus is going to be on, 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 on like identifying, okay, there's this guy, this guy, and this guy that really want it, right? right. These two guys are the guys we wanna spend our time with. Right? Okay, okay. And, and you, you, wanna, you wanna look deep, you wanna look, so if you, Jen is, I assume, direct to you. Yeah. Jen has got, she's bringing on all these execs and these cool people, right? Right, right. You want to start reaching down to them. That's where you want to reach. Me, me. You. You Jana. want to reach. See, Okay. If That's were, what I thought. If you were on my team, and even though you're not on our team, so right. not, I, I don't want to, I'm not you, want to usurp, you, usurp Corey, but it, if I look at Corey right now, Corey's got, direct under Corey is, is Aaron, right? So it's Aaron. And then, and then Walter, and then Bill, and then you, right? Right. Did I remember that right? I think so. That's amazing, man. That brain spray does work. <laughs> <laughs> so, I would, I would be doing just what I'm doing right now. You're, you're three or four levels down, right? I'd be working with you. I'd be working with Jana. I'd be working with Walter. You know, I don't work with Carlos. Are you kidding? I mean, I love Carlos Smith. We did a live to because we've been saying that for weeks. Right. Man, you and I, we got to let people know that you and I are friends and back at this, right? So we, <laughs> we to do it. But I work with, I work with Don. I work with Janice. I work with, you know, in depth. That's where you want okay. to. Because and then Jana, in return, Jana's going to be doing the same thing. She's going to be looking three or four levels down, reaching out to those people. She's going to be, she's going to work, she's going to be working with those people too. But she's also going to be watching how you're working with the people underneath her and in, in, underneath her. And she's going to be doing the same thing with them. Okay. You're always wanting to work with the people above you, you know. So, Jenna is going to, she, she should expect to say, hey, Chris, because you're, you're further along. You're a 5K affiliate. Would you mind, you know, doing a live with one of my people? 
right. then she's gonna pump you up, man, Chris, man, he's you know five K affiliate, you know, right. took, you know six minutes to make it, and he's doing great, and you know this is awesome, and you know she's gonna just build you up and everything, and then you know they're gonna they're gonna want to do a live with him, and you're gonna do a live with them, just like we did with you, right? Right. right. Let, them, let them introduce you, and then you're just gonna pump them up and and launch their business for them and get them going. And then you're going to go deep again. And every time that Jana brings people on, you're going to reach out to her. You don't, you don't ever want to usurp your, your team, but you're going to reach out to her and say, hey, look, introduce me to your people. Let's see what we can do. Let's do a team training. Let's work with them. Let's get them success, right? That's one of Robert's right. favorite lines, GTR. Get them results as fast as possible. You need to get them in the game. Okay. So every time we have new people come in, I, I, did, I was on for 35, 45 minutes today with one of Lily's people that's two or three levels down, you know? So she, I reached out to Lily and said, Hey, I'm going to, I'm going to talk to Yulia today. We're going to do, we're going to do a training together and then her and I are going to do a live. So we reached out and talked. I got her straight and got her what's going on. And then we set up a live for next week. You, you, you just want to keep on building depth. And that's okay. why Corey's exactly right. I brought in six people this month. Am I on a leaderboard? What's a leaderboard? I don't care. You know, that's, isn't that the thing you put on the end of your fishing line to catch bass? <laughs> You know, I don't, I'm not concerned about the leaderboard. What I'm concerned about is the rank events. And that's what I'm concerned about. I'm right. concerned about the, and, and one of the guys I brought in this month, two of the people I brought in this month, have already brought in two or three other people already. Well, that's and I think R Robert Ron is a great example of that, right? Why is Robert willing to work with you and willing to work with me and willing to work with anybody in our team that has desire? This comp plan, the way it's built is it doesn't matter whether somebody is first level to you or a hundredth level exactly. to you binary, it's the same benefit to you, right? So, you know, when you look at Robert, like I, I had to wrap my head around them, like, why is this guy willing to work with me, right? I'm like four or five levels deep to him, right? It, it, well, it's because of how things are designed, right? Like it, it, it makes literally no difference, at least in my mind, right? whether or not I enrolled Chris or whether or not he's fifth level to me, he's yep. equally important to, to the business. Do you know what right. I'm saying? Right. right? It doesn't make any difference. And so like when you're looking at your team, Chris, it's the exact same thing. It doesn't matter that you enroll Jana, right? Or she's awesome. We all know that. Right. But right. that person who's five levels beneath her that has desire is equally important to you as Jana is. Right. Is that okay how I said that, Ron? Do you agree with that? Absolutely. And, and, and here's what I'll tell you. Statistically, and this is the way it always works, it's like you find, you find Jana. You know, like I found Carlos, and Carlos is better than me, right? And then Carlos finds Sally, and Sally's a little bit better maybe than Carlos. And, and then Sally finds, you know, Jane, and Jane's a little bit better than, than Sally. And then five levels deep, somebody gets – because everybody has a different sphere of influence, you find this, you know, Chris or Jana or Corey – that are superstars. Well, right. what I would, why wouldn't I be working with them? Right. Because guess what? It's, it's, we know how it builds. It builds like this. So if I've got somebody down here and they're building and it's getting wider and wider and wider, you know, as a 50K affiliate, I get paid, what, six levels deep, six or seven levels deep? Are you, I'm, I'm going to want, and, and the binary doesn't matter. I get all of that volume. We all do. We all get all of that volume. So I'm going to want to build with as deep as I can go with people. I'm gonna to wanna to help those teams as, as, as much as I Guys, can. Guys, I'm just gonna jump in really quick. I'm really sorry, I have to pick up my daughter for voice lessons, so I have I, to get off. I, unless we have something really- No, we're good, we're good, we're good. Guys, Jana, Walter. Hey guys, we love you. Ron, thank you for taking the time. I yeah. mean, I can't even, I, you know how I feel. You know how I feel. I, I, I don't. Man, I love you guys. And this, you know, this is, yeah. it, it, if I can't do this, then I'm not going to do the business, to be perfectly honest with you. If I can't teach and help and, and impact lives, then I'm not going to do it. That's why I do it. That's the only reason I do it. I mean, the money's great. And, you know, it's going to help our family. It's going to help my wife. And we're going to be able to do things that, you know, we want to do and things like that. And I'll be able to help other people that I can help. And we're going to impact so many veterans' lives and things like that. But the day comes that someone tells me in the company that you can't work with the Christopher and Janice of the world because they're not in your team is the day that I tell Josh and he would never do that because he'd have already talked about it, but he loves it. He wishes everybody in the company thought like Robert and I. Yeah. And I just, 
and I'm I'm not dusty, and these aren't you know. But don't get I, emotional. I I don't. I refuse to do that because I have this button right here that shows that I'm not emotional. <laughs> See, isn't that cool? <laughs> That's me now. Yeah. Hey, Ron. I just want to say, uh, Ron and uh, Corey, and um, I just want to say thank you so much for taking the time to work with us because. Uh, I got so much information out of this session that I can use, and I just, I just want to say thank you. Yes, thank you. You guys are so welcome, so welcome. Everybody, if I, don't go, if I don't go say hi to my lovely wife, I may be. Yeah. Uh, the next Have time. a good night, man. Thank you. Lots of love, guys. Lots of love. You guys, every thank time you guys. so much. You're right. amazing. Right. Take care. Wow, Bye -bye. wow, 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 wow. I will get the recording for y'all too. Okay, okay, thank you, Ron. You're welcome. Thank, thank you. you. All right.